Trident or Project Delta? Which game is better? Well, to start off, both games are bad and good in their own ways. Also, these are my opinions. Now on to the actual review of both games. In Project Delta, the movement is slow, but it's not like Tridents where you jump around at Mach 10, so maybe if you increase the actual speed to 19, the movement would be good. Now, Trident's movement is weird because to go to fastest, it's not sipped as it usually is, it's baseball press C, then you go flying. I find this annoying because if you're PvPing, it's easy to run the heck away into the tree line or over the hill. Now, both games don't have enough monuments, but Trident needs higher pop solos and more OP monuments instead of labs and bunker being roamed 24 7, as always. In Project Delta, we need more cover instead of just open fields and probably a new longer range monument instead of Crane Camp 2000. Hopefully those new leaked monuments uh, will come out soon. Trident's armor system is good because it actually tells you the values instead of Project Delta's where it's just a number and it doesn't help at all. But we need more armor in Trident as compared to the guns you take way too much damage for no reason. Now Project Delta's armor system is decent but just because it doesn't tell you the values, like it doesn't really tell you how much it actually defends because of AP, armor person, it's very complicated but yeah, armor system is just weird in both games. Trident's inventory system is balanced because you can always just go back to your base and put loot away, then go back and grab more. Or on the other hand, Project Delta doesn't have the most space, but you can increase it. I do think we should get an extra roll of storage, default, unlike pants or so, I don't know. Hit register in Project Delta has been buffed a lot, and it is actually pretty good now. Instead of an average of 42%, it wasn't even close to 68%, as Sorter has said. It's now around 92 to 100%, which is pretty good. Now, Trident's hit register sucks. If you don't average 100 ping anything over 200 ping, and you'll get constant invalids, not to mention the user rate that basically makes your bullets TP back into your gun. With the new update on Trident, it made it a lot harder to get boom from the transport crate slash elite crate locked in the rad zones because instead of a 10 minute timer, it's a 30 minute timer, so it's a lot harder to get rockets in C4. In PE, with the recent updates, it made getting items such as the EDF flare and AS of Alpha crates a lot harder to find. This swipe, I've only, I found only two EDF flares, so there needs to be some sort of balance, and as getting an info of no AP is practically useless, as AKAP outguns it on a fail fight. Trident, there's plenty of hackers with slug hacks, ESP, aimlock, etc. They usually take a bit to get banned, but from my experience, they take a lot less time than PD mods. But PD hackers are different because they will kill you from 1,000 meters with buckshot and take half an hour to get banned. In total, P bo PD mods are critting because PD is slowly dying from hackers that Soto does not care to fix. Trident's gun system is terrible. Guns are unbalanced, they do way too much damage, or they do no damage at all like the Pipe SMG. You have almost zero chance to win against the M4 or Skull if it's 100% hit with a steel and a fail fight. I know it's higher tier weapons, but once people get steel armor and Skulls, they just can't bunker in labs 24-7 to get a box of rockets. For example, Skull two-tap steel helmet, like, huh? Project Dota's gun system is decent. It is annoying with the weird image still, but can also be good. For example, AK Tracer is balanced, 5 tap Sultan. Info Tracer is balanced, 4 tap Sultan. Now these aren't actually balanced compared to guns like Sega and AS Val. To fix AS Val, you need to get rid of Z and make Tracer bullets that like 5 to 6 tap Sultan, then it might actually fail. Also make AP a lot harder to find and increase the recoil. To fix Sega, make for set spawn less, also spawn if less, instead of like 38, it's like 8 to 14. Also no first set to two tap Orton, as nothing beats a close range besides like a Val that has a decent chance. AKP is kind of balanced, it should be like a three and a half headshot, something like that. Also no TFZ AP because, you know, it kind of one tap everything if you hit head.
In total, KD wins movement. Both are bad in monuments, so no one wins in that. Well, technically, it's a tie. PD wins the almost system. Trident wins the inventory system. PD wins the hit register. Trident wins the loot tables. Almost. They barely won that. Trident wins dealing with the hackles, and PD wins the gun system. In conclusion, Trident 4, Project Delta 5. So in this case, Project Delta is better.